Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to be telling you the pros and cons of buying a lot for a new manufactured home from the perspective of someone who's currently doing it. If you're new to the channel, we purchased a 0.39 acre lot for a 1,560 square foot double wide, and it closes today. Actually, by the time this is posted, it will have been yesterday, but close enough. Most of what I do and talk about on this channel is manufactured homes in mobile home parks. The big difference between the two scenarios is that in a mobile home parks, you buy the home, but you actually lease the land on a monthly payment, while the project I'm currently working on is gonna be a home and land package, so the land will be owned. What I'm gonna do is tell you some of the pros and cons of this experience so far with purchasing the lot compared to putting a home in a mobile home park, then I'll touch on the next steps. I'm not trying to prove that one is better than the other. I understand everyone's situation is different, so what works well for one person might not be the best option for someone else, but I think they both have positives and negatives, so let's get into it. The biggest and most obvious difference between putting a manufactured home in a mobile home park and buying the land is the total cost. One of the great things about mobile home parks is you're only on the hook for the cost of the home. By eliminating the land cost, you now have to save less for a down payment, which means that home ownership could be attainable sooner. In my area, lots start around 150,000, so if you're putting 10% down, that means you have to save an extra $15,000 to be able to purchase. I live in an expensive area, so that number might be less where you are, or it could be more, it just depends where you're located. Then we have all the upgrades that have to be done to the lot before the house arrives. The lot we purchased is unserviced, so the list of things that need to be done before the house gets here is quite long. It has to be cleared, a water line has to be brought in from the road, a septic system has to be installed, the power has to be brought in, and we have to build a concrete pad. All of these things take time and cost a lot of money. If the same home was going into a mobile home park, all the services and infrastructure would be the responsibility of the park owner. They have to make sure every lot has access to sewer and water, so that's just another area that you're gonna save quite a bit of money up front. We have quotes to get our lot ready for the new home, and it comes in at just over $30,000, and that's on top of the price of the lot. When you're out looking, keep in mind that the septic system is a large chunk of that, so if you can find one with access to city sewer, it's gonna save you quite a bit of money. The added upfront cost with buying property for a new manufactured home is on my list of downsides when compared to putting a new home in a mobile home park. Another downside I've noticed is the timeline. We'd been looking for a lot for quite a while before we decided on this one and made an offer. On March 5th, they accepted our offer and the six weeks from then until now has just seemed to drag on forever. There's a lot of work to be done and we haven't been able to get in there and start working because we don't own the lot, which is fair, it's just different than what I'm used to. In a mobile home park, as soon as you make a deal with the park owner, you can get in there and start working. It feels like the time between the accepted offer and the closing date was wasted because when I know I'm doing something, I wanna get started on it right away. It doesn't really matter this year because you're gonna be able to find a property a lot faster than you're gonna be able to get a house with how crazy the market is. However, if it was a more typical year, you might find a home on a dealer's lot that you wanna move into quick. Usually about once a year, we get someone who comes in who sold their house and wants to be into a new home the same day they have to be out of their current home. In a situation like that, I think it would be challenging to find a lot, make an offer, get an accepted offer, wait for the closing date, start all the groundwork, move the home over and get it moving ready before they had to be out of their current home if their closing date on their sale was the typical four to eight weeks. If this was a normal year, it's totally doable with a manufactured home in a park because the services are already there. It's just a matter of picking the home, moving it over and setting it up, which can be done in a matter of weeks if all goes well. In reality, this year, it doesn't really matter. The work on the lot is still probably gonna be done before we're ready to move the house over there. I guess I'm just impatient to get started. With that being said, let's cruise out to the property and see if they've got the sold sign up then we'll come back and I'll talk about some of the positives. No sold sign, it looks like they just took the sign away. First time down the driveway, I've been parking on the road. Eww. This is it. Let's take a look. Just had someone stop on the road behind me coming out of the subdivision behind, probably wondering what someone is doing on this property. It was listed for 600 days, so almost two years, and now something's happening. So people are probably curious what's going on. Let's go check it out. This is where the house is gonna be over here. And back, if I spin around, you can see how big it is. So 
0.39 doesn't sound that big, but when you're standing on it, let me tell you, it feels like a, a pretty good size. So we've got to get the lot cleared and the guys are coming in next week to do that. Today's Thursday, so I think they'll probably start Monday. I talked to the guy about the septic a couple days ago and he doesn't know when he's gonna be able to get over here yet. So we will have a bit of downtime before we bring the house, but the septic system will be right in here. So all these trees have to come out and that's where the septic's gonna go. And then there'll be a line coming from the house, which will be way back over there. And this will all be yard. Lots of room for a dog, multiple dogs if you wanted. Lots of space on this lot. All right, let's go back to the office and I'll tell you some of the upsides of having full ownership of a property. The big positive with owning the land for your manufactured home is you can do whatever you want with it. If you wanna put the house on there diagonally with a yellow fence and a five car garage, you go right ahead. Nobody can stop you unless the city bylaws prohibit it. Some people don't like that parks have rules for their communities, but here's the thing. The rules are there to make sure that the park is kept to a certain standard, and I don't really think that's a bad thing. A home is a huge investment, and you wanna make sure the value of that investment is protected. The truth is some people just don't like rules. They don't like being told what they can or can't do, and that's fine. If you know that about yourself, then buying a home on a property is probably the better option. Over the years, I've seen one rule prevent probably 10 families from being able to buy a home in a park, and that's the dog rule. Most parks will allow one dog, but it has to be under a certain weight or a certain height. As a dog person myself, I always felt for people who would walk away from buying a home because the park wouldn't allow their dog. If you own the property though, bring as many dogs as you want. It's an absolutely great option for dog owners. The second positive is this home will appeal to people who want to own their own land. There are people who want to live in a mobile home park, then there are people who want to own their own land, and in my experience, there's nothing in between. This will be a very affordable home and land package for comparable size homes on comparable size lots in my market, so it'll be nice to be able to appeal to a wider range of buyers. Manufactured homes are a great option whether you buy the land or put the home into a mobile home park. The right choice is gonna change from person to person because everyone's situation is different. It's a bit trickier when you buy raw land that needs a bunch of upgrades before you can put a home on, but when offered as a finished product, I'm hoping it'll appeal to a lot of people. Next week, we start clearing the lot, so it's gonna be fun to watch this property undergo a full transformation. That's all I've got for this week. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.